Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again and seeing what we might unlock. As you can see, I played the Tainted um, Andromeda last time and we had some ups and downs. But we ended up creating a pretty wacky build and this time we have Tainted Isaac himself. Okay, yeah, let's just do Tainted Isaac and... Actually, no, we did Tainted Isaac re recently, didn't we? We did Tainted Isaac um, Greedier pretty recently. Let's randomize again. We get Tainted Job this time. Okay, okay. Now, do I want to do a regular run or not? I think I'm going to go regular run. I think Tainted Job regular run is the way to go here. So far, we've actually done a decent amount with this character. Not a ton. Uh, we need to do Dark Path here, so we'll, we'll try for that. We could also do Mother as well, but I think Dark Path is the way to go. I do not like these fires. Oh my god, that kind of scared me. We do start out with really low HP as this guy, so it can be a little bit scary. But, I am ready. I am prepared. I am... I have a, a furious might. A furious might with me. And, for today's question of the day, we're going to go back to the basics. What was the last thing that you ate? I've asked this one a few times before, but I'm always interested. And, actually, as a bonus, why? Why Why was that the last thing you ate? Was it Was it something that you had out of habit? Something that you had because you really enjoy it? Something that your parent might have made you? Some, or something you made for yourself? And in general, those of you that um, those of you that don't live at home, those of you that are like buying your own food, what, what's, what's, your, what's your regular shopping list? be interesting to know what's what sort of items that you always buy for me i I've, I've kind of gone through a few different ones as a lot of you probably already know by now i'm a big foodie Ooh, um <clears throat> hmm i think both of these are obviously worth grabbing none of them are worth days custodian in um but yeah as, as you guys probably already know i'm a pretty big foodie i really do like my food um and i tend to try to buy quality food whenever i can um, obviously it's not it's not always going to work out, but if it's um, not ridiculously expensive, I like to try and buy higher quality ingredients and stuff. And one of the things that tends to be on my shopping list, I've actually stopped doing, um, I've stopped doing like weekly shops. Like I used to, uh, when I first moved in, uh, was first like started living on my own with me and my girlfriend. I, I used to do weekly shops where I'd like go to a big shop and buy like everything for the week. I stopped doing that as much anymore because I just found out that, that I was having way too much food waste because we'd like, we'd go out for a meal or we'd get takeaway one night and it's just like that was one more meal that we didn't have that week that would then go out a day, especially if it was fresh food, which often it was. So it just, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't great. And then both of these will just take as is as well. Yeah, and it, it just, it just kind of, I'll, I'll, I'll pop this pill actually as well. Yeah, it just kind of wasn't great, so we kind of stopped doing that. So now I tend to, like, just buy stuff as we need it. But one of the things that I tend to have with most of my meals... Oh, you took my D20. That's kind of the one thing I wanted to keep. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, one of the things I tend to have a lot is asparagus. I eat so much asparagus. Asparagus is great. I mean, for one, it's very easy to cook, um, and it can be done in multiple ways. You just slap it in the oven or slap, slap it in the pan. Um, and like uh, in a in like cast iron pan with a bit of char grill and uh, olive oil on it, it's just fantastic. And it's like it's one of the perfect sort of sides to have with basically any meal. Um, so it, it just kind of goes with so many things. So it's one of the, one of the things that I have quite a lot. But the, as for the most recent thing I ate, I had myself a, um, a dragon's egg. As, as the packaging called it. I would not consider it that myself, but that's what it was called. It was a scotch egg. By the way, if you haven't had a scotch egg before, they are amazing. I don't really know if they do them in other countries other than the UK. I think they're kind of a UK thing. But essentially, it's um, a, like a hard-boiled egg with um, sausage meat wrapped around it, um, coated in breadcrumbs. It's one of the best things ever. They're amazing. Um, and I had one called a dragon's egg from a place, which, like I said, I wouldn't really consider it myself, but as you can probably imagine, it basically means it's one that's spicy. It's one that has, like, chili powder or, 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 or like, chilies in it or whatever. And, really, it's one of those things where it's, like, packaging is like, this is the hottest thing you'll ever eat! And it's like, it's, it's really not. <laughs> it's really not that hot whatsoever. Um, but it was still really nice. It's still quite tasty. They do have a bit, a bit of a kick to them. It's just not... As hot as they make it out to be. Um, yeah, that, that's that's something in general that with food that really annoys me. When when you like go somewhere 
And especially uh, for me, I'm, I'm big into spicy food. I absolutely love spicy food. You go somewhere and they advertise something as hot and it's just not. And it's like, I, I'm, I'm sort of unsure. Okay, um, some of the random Zodiac Planetarium item wisp branding or its effect lasting the current room. We'll take that. Um, actually, we might as well pick this up as well. Yeah, it's like, I, I, I don't know. Is it that, like, just generally most people have a very low spice tolerance? So for those people that have low tolerances, they genuinely are, like, one of the hottest things they've eaten? Or is it just, like, some stupid marketing tactic to make it more appealing? Because it's like, people think they're a big man if they eat something that's really spicy, and then they can go to their mates, Ooh, I ate this, and it was really hot, even though it actually wasn't. But it's just super annoying. As someone that really likes spicy food, the amount of times that I get duped or duped into buying something because it's like, oh, that's actually kind of nice. I get duped into buying something because it's like, oh, this thing's really hot and you buy it and it's like, this is like the most mild spice I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> it's so annoying. It is quite funny though, like li liking spice as much as I do. Both me, as I've mentioned this uh, a few times before, but both me and um, one of my friends, Billy, are really big into spicy food. So we always get the same sort of stuff when we go out for food and stuff. Um, and... We went uh, on holiday together once to Tenerife, and there we got a foul curry, which, for those of you who don't know, is technically the hottest curry in the world. And it was indeed incredibly hot, but it's so funny, because whenever we go somewhere, we always order, like, the hottest curry, um, or the hottest food, and we all, especially uh, in curry places, we always get warned every single time. Also, Libra here, not very nice. Not very good. Although, also, it didn't actually change my stats at all, so confusing. Um, they always warn us. They're always like, it's very hot, it's very hot. It's like, I, I know that I'm white, <laughs> but I can handle it. <laughs> like, I swear that that's like half the time you go into like um, an Indian, obviously they have generally uh, a much higher spice tolerance because they eat a lot more spicy foods. Um, so I, I feel like it's just, it's just really funny that there <laughs> there's always this thing where you walk in, they're just like, no, 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 you can't handle this. It's like, I can, I can, I can do it. And, and then, like, like one time, I wasn't there at the time, but one time Billy said he went somewhere and he got, like, a really hot curry. And, um, what did it take for us this time? Okay, okay, that's not too bad. Um, ooh. This is a bit risky, but I'm gonna try this. Just because I, I really should have, um... Ah, you bastard. Okay. I really should have tried to keep one of these items. Why is, um, Anima Solar not charging? What's that about? Oh, I always forget this guy splits. Oh, God. I might die here. I, might, I will die here. There's so much creep on the floor. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is crazy. Not a fan of this guy. Yeah, why is the Anima Solar not charging? I'm really confused about that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. These bastards. Okay, this is actually not too bad. We can we can deal with this. These guys having multiple attack patterns is a bit scary. Okay. I think... I think I want to Deus Custodia Anima Sola. Because I think Anima Solar is just really good. Tri-Sag, I kind of would have been down to grab. But Anima Solar is just so unbelievably strong. Let's try and actually live, to, to be fair. But yeah, what was I, what was I saying? So yeah, like, um... Ooh, I'll, I'll pop that just for the soul heart. But yeah, um, he was saying that once he went somewhere and got like a hot curry and they did this, this whole thing, this song and dance, where they kind of warned him, were like, oh no, it's really hot, sir, it's really hot, you might not be able to handle it. And he's like, no, 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 I got this, I got this, don't worry. Um, and <laughs> apparently the, the server came over to him after he'd finished and like clapped and bowed. 
<laughs> it probably sounds like one of those stories and then they all clapped, but I genuinely believe it happened. It, it's just, it's so funny, like, came over and they were just like, well done, sir, well done. I can't believe you managed the spicy curry. I just love that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, but yeah, it's like it, something that you kind of have to do as well when you're um, when you're someone that likes a lot of spicy food, especially if you go to like a Indian restaurant, um, which is for the most part what, what I go to when I want to have curry. Um, you have to ask for things Indian hot because there are two like they're pretty distinct, and if you ask for it Indian hot, they they make it like actually hot. Um, I want a Des Custodia three dollar bill, I think. By the way, I don't know what happens now that I've just put down Anima Solar. I still can't lose it, right? I'm hoping. But yeah, let's um, let's try and that was very useful. Try and uh, get Deus Custodia activated again and ready. Yeah, Anima Solar is just so strong. But yeah, I've got. I've said it before as well, but I've got quite a. Quite a, a large collection of spicy, uh, spicy sauces, different, different hot sauces and stuff. And oh god, I love them. I don't, I don't use them too much. I, I, I tend to be quite spare, uh, like quite sparse with my uh, hot sauce usage, just because I don't want to overdo it. Like, I, I enjoy the heat. I don't want to get such a high tolerance that I have to like pour fucking straight capsaicin extract over everything to actually get any heat. Um, so I, I don't, I don't use it that much. But basically, whenever there's an option to choose something hot, I'm almost always going to do it. Because it, it's kind of a weird thing, spice. I mean, spice in general is just a really strange concept of just human eating habits. It's just like, oh, hey, here's this, um, what type of heart is that? It's a red heart, okay. Uh, it's like this really strange concept of like, oh, hey, here's this, here's this plant that we don't want you to eat. So the plant is going to, through evolution become very unappetizing by making itself incredibly spicy. And we're just like, nice. <laughs> we're just like, okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll eat more of it then. <laughs> it's like, why? Why are we like this? Um, doubled burger bombs, I don't think really does much for us. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. He's animal solar a bit early there. Yeah, I'm a little sad that I... Uh, I didn't lock in Trisag, but it's okay. Trisag can be a bit laggy anyways, so it might be for the best. We shall see. We shall see. It's just like, yeah, this plant's like, aha! I found the perfect mechanism for making sure I don't get eaten. Works on animals, but humans are like, hell yeah. <laughs> Pain. And it is weird as well, it's like, I yeah, there you go, we lost Trisag. And it was the only thing we lost as well. It's, I'm actually completely fine with it. Trisag's good for the piercing, but otherwise, it doesn't really add much. So, I don't mind. Yeah, I just, I don't know what compels humans to be like, hmm, yes, pin. <laughs> That's what I ordered. And then, it like... It, it, it's actually nice as well. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's kind of it's kind of like the same thing as carbonating drinks, as having like fizzy drinks. Because it's like at the end of the day, you're just making the water a bit spicy. <laughs> it's, it's just like, it's just kind of like spicy water. Um, <laughs> and I don't know. It's just, it's just things that humans do that are very strange. That are like really common practice as well. Like we don't see them as strange anymore. Ooh, that is a great trinket. Um, I'll take booster pack. We've got the money for it. Have a look. Fool, Hermit, Sun. I think I'm just going to pop the sun. the sun. Ace of Hearts. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's pop this yes. out here. Probably a bad idea to pop it out there, actually. We'll grab that. And then we'll just see what we get. I'm definitely taking flat file. Oh, I got three hearts there. Good enough. Good enough. And we'll take our Ace of Hearts. We have a big room over here, so we can use the Ace of Hearts in there. Lock you down, fella. Oh, God, that guy's a champion. I think. Is he a champion? Who knows? Okay. Tech X is definitely something we want to lock down. Ooh, being able to lock those guys down is fantastic. 
Damn. This is rather annoying. Um... Okay. Wait, I'm confused. Which one's gonna disappear? Let's take stairway first, just in case. Okay, this is kind of good, because it's like, okay, so my thinking process here is, we have two stairways, therefore we're less likely to lose both. <laughs> It's annoying that I couldn't lock at least one of them in. I would have liked to. Or the soul. Also, did we not get any soul hearts from the soul? Or did we just have very few soul hearts already? I'm not sure which, is, which it is. But yeah, we'll certainly lock in Tech X. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's go use that Ace of Hearts in here. Damn. Brutal game. Not a single soul heart for us. It's a half one, but I suppose it costs a bomb. I probably should have just paid for that. Not a big deal to us, is it? Ow. These guys are tricky. Okay, two more rooms to go. Two more rooms to go. There is just so many things that humans do that, like, now for us are just, like, common practice and seem really normal. But, like, if you actually take a moment and think about it, they're really weird and strange. Like, just generally, if you compare, like, humans to the animal kingdom, our eating habits are just bizarre. Like, some of it's obviously really normal. Like, cooking things is, is really logical. Um, yeah, let's grab that. Cooking things is really logical and normal. Like, I don't mind that at all. Um... And, like, eating things that taste better is nice. But, like, the way that we, like, produce food and things can be a bit strange. Like, the the way we'll take... It's just simple stuff like chocolate. We take, like, a bean and, like, do a whole bunch of process on it to make it into a different food. And it's just... It's just kind of all so complicated and so bizarre. Ooh. Devil card's kind of nice here. Yeah, it's it's just, it's very it's very complicated and very strange, and we just we just go for so much effort, so much effort all the time for such small things, really. And then it's like as well, like one thing that I always get really hung up on and, and kind of annoyed about is like the disparity of costing of food, because it's just like like. You buy a carrot and it's like 15 pence, but it took like a farmer like so much time and resources and stuff to make that. And then like, and, and it's like mostly by hand as well, or at least kind of by hand. Um, we got, we got to go back into the angel room here. Ooh, we should try and get 15 cent before we leave, right? Um, yeah, there's like so much time and energy and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then it's just like, actually though, we're just going to make something in a factory and then charge you, like, £3 for it. It's like, but it took so much less effort to make. And so much less time. <laughs> and less it cost. And, it, and then as well, it's like, just the disparity of cost between food and items. Like, food is like a necessity to life. And I've realised that a lot of times, like, a lot of the food we eat isn't a necessity. Like, you, you could just eat rice and beans, the cheapest food out there. Uh, you don't have to eat the nice food sort of thing. But, like, come on, dude. Um, but, like, you'll go out for a nice meal, and, like I said, it's been expertly cooked, and, or, like, sometimes it has, and it's, like, really nice food and stuff, but, and it'll cost you, like, £40, and it's a meal that literally lasts you all of about six hours. Like, you, if you include the time it takes you to j digest it and shit it out, it basically lasts you about, about, like, six to twelve hours maximum. But then you buy a video game for the exact same price, and you could literally play it until the end of time. And it, it's just like, it's strange. Like, I understand it. I do I do get it, because it's like, video game, it isn't a necessity. You don't need it. But you, you'd kind of think that the making it a necessity is the thing that would make it so that you don't... You think it'd be the opposite way around, because it's a necessity. Make it cheap, because everyone needs it, but... Unfortunately, it ain't how the world works. Come on, one of you's gotta give me a dime, there you go. Nickel even. It's just strange. It's all just very strange. The world is a weird place. It truly is.
You watch it take two, both of my stairways off me. You watch. Booster pack. But the, it fucking did. It actually did. Oh, and the only item in here costs 30 cent as well. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why you gotta be like this game? I got two stairways, but you took a birth from me. It's a dick move, game. It's a dick move. I thought that was gonna just lock the light beam in place there and like have the light beam going forever. Whatever you do, don't take my pointy rib. My pointy rib's like half my damage at this point. Oh, I also forgot that killing these guys would give us an item. Should have been killing these guys a lot more. Also would have made Stairway a hell of a lot better. God damn it. Game, why you screw me, sir? Take both of my Stairways. Truly evil. That's not Secret Room. I know I've only seen two rooms, but it really did look like it. Oh my god. Ah! I broke him. Damn, curse rooms like that are sad. Okay. I am liking having $3 bill, I'll tell you that. I mean, and we've also got Tech X locked in there as well. And Anima Soul is locked in. We do have some good things locked in. It's just annoying to have a way of basically getting around losing stairway. And we still lose stairway. Found Soul. I think Found Soul's probably worth taking, right? Although he has lowered my FPS significantly. What the hell? Let me just drop him again. Okay, now I'm not taking Found Soul. For some reason, Found Soul just lowers my FPS a ton. The cost of double damage is too damn high. Also, not having to do with spike blocks and stuff. I quite like that. Oh, we have the relic right now too. Nice. I didn't clock onto that until that soul heart drops. We don't need it, but it's nice to have. I suppose we get a sack room, although we would have to drop our uh, trinket to play a sack room. Okay, check this out. Now that we can't pay for the stairway. Dreamcatcher, now thank you. What am I looking for here? That's pretty good. I think I locked it in. <laughs> I tried to and I had my devil card activated. I'm not sure if I actually did or not. It gave me a broken heart. So I'm going to assume so. And I think it gave me the charge back because I picked up the item. What the hell? Why did... Oh, I didn't think they could make it through that gap. This is bullshit. Get out of here. That was evil. We do have quite a lot of broken hearts now. We probably want to stop locking things in at this point, to be honest. I always do this. I go a bit too hard on the lock-ins early. That was stupid. It's okay. We've got soul hearts about... Oh god, he's moving too fast. He's moving too fast for me. Let's just keep moving and grooving. Ah! Yeah, now now I'm now I'm quite craving the spicy food actually. I don't know what I'm having for tea tonight. I'm trying to diet at the minute, so I don't want to have anything too fattening. And I did have a pretty fattening day yesterday. Basically, it was like the hottest day of the year so far, yesterday. So me and a bunch of friends just went out drinking all day. It was very nice. Um, <clears throat> and we went and got like Greek for lunch. And then we went and got uh, a burger for tea. It was very nice. So I kind of don't want to eat like shit today. Um, none of these are very good. Yeah, that one I'm just gonna leave it as is. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. Anyways, well, let's just go straight for the boss. Let's just go straight for the boss.
Yeah, the runs okay. I, th I think Anima Solar plus Nine Volt is kind of our big sort of get for doing <clears throat> Mega Satan or anything like that. So I'll, I'll see. But so far, so good. I'm hoping for more tier effects to work with Tech X though, because at the minute, eh. Th three Olive Hill's pretty good, but it's not amazing. Also, this is nice. More keys is kind of good, we were kind of missing that. <clears throat> but yeah, it's like Anima Solar's kind of good position wise for doing Mega Satan. Just because we've got it with 9 Volt, we can basically keep him locked down for the whole duration of the fight. But I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so we lost the soul. That's annoying. And Nightshade as well. God damn. It's taking all of our fun and interesting items. Like, normally it's like when I play this character, I have a pretty decent time of it, like, not screwing me too hard. Today is not that day. I am, uh, it's just taking everything from me. <laughs> I mean, we've still got some good stuff in there. Of course, we've got our locked in items, but we've still got, like... Uh, the relic and stuff, but it's like, why didn't you take foul gut from me? Or latchkey? Or the fucking dad's fishing rod? God damn, there's so many items in here. Om's underwear, whatever. There's so many items in here that are like, fucking trash. <laughs> I don't do anything anymore, and it's like, meh. Wouldn't take any of those from you. Couldn't screw you that hard. It's like, god damn it. Yeah, we're all full up on health. Oh, as soon as I say that, I walk directly into a fire. God damn it. I didn't realize it had last after the room. Ooh, there's a double tinted rock there, though, so small rock is on our way. Plus another item, actually, because it drops two, doesn't it? Yeah, this is a double tinted rock right here. I've gotten a lot better at spotting these. Oh, okay. Um, I think we days custodia that. And then we grab that. And I think now is like, we're locked in with our items. That was a pretty good grab. You watch it take small rock off me though. You you watch. It's gonna be a bitch. We'll take both of these. I mean, we've got so much trash in our inventory. It just needs to take some of the trash off of us. Just some of it. I think we're, I think we're actually just good to bounce on this floor straight away. I don't wanna stick around too long. Yeah, getting Psyfly there. That's going to be a major help. I think Anima Solar plus Psyfly is a pretty game-winning combo, to be honest. Those two items together are going to mean that it's going to be very, very difficult for us to be hit very often. Excuse me, why didn't Anima Solar trigger then? Okay, there you go. It just didn't work for some reason for a moment. <clears throat> okay, so contact damage is kind of the only way we're getting hit now. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have killed that enemy before I used that. We do, we do need a bit more damage, I will say. <laughs> grab that, grab the negative. I hope, I, yeah, it was, I was gonna say, I hope it is the negative that I want. Both of these are decent. I mean, the body obviously doesn't do much for us, to be honest. Take this first, just in case. Ah, now we're full on red hearts though. That's actually not a good idea, really. <laughs> I should keep a bit of room for soul heart health. I guess if a devil deal comes up in the future, we can grab it. I don't know if it will or not. Oh, I didn't blow up my damn angel statue. I keep forgetting about that. I told you it'd fucking take small rock. It fucking took blood clot as well. Stop stealing all my good items, you cock. Fuck's sake. I keep... I need to stop saying things. Because every time I make a prediction, the exact prediction I make is coming true. And it's always one in the negative. Um, we'll, we'll leave that. It's very annoying. We've lost a lot of good items so far. <laughs> Including two stairways. Which is BS. I mean, it's... It's kind of like... It's a double-edged sword, really. It's like, it's annoying that we're losing all these good items, but at the same time, this run is still very good. And we still are likely to get a lot more good stuff in the future. I'm just, I'm annoyed that I keep forgetting to blow up the angel statues and stuff. It's like, I could be doing so much more to make sure we get some good stuff on this run, and I'm just not. <laughs> I'm just being an idiot. <clears throat> Ow. Oh, God. I just realized we've got a lot of rotten hearts right now. We are taking hella damage. Okay, good. 
Yeah, we're going to have to be careful about when we get hit, because we are going to lose a lot of HP each time. Oh, my God. Do you know, I don't even know if I want to fight Mega Satan. Our damage is so low. By the way, something I haven't actually checked with this. Jerb mod pack. I haven't actually checked any of this to see, uh... To see what we've actually got. Interesting. Okay, because there's like extras we can unlock, but I think we have to 100% the characters to do that first. That's interesting though. I'll have to remember about that. Okay. Oh, God damn it. These enemies. Dude, every time he tried to escape. So, I've got that mod that lets us, like, pierce through these guys, but it seems that, like, lasers and stuff just don't work. It's, like, only tears that can hit them. It's just kind of unfortunate. Come on, dude. Don't be a dick. Okay, this, this little... There you go. My electric buddy was really just making that so much worse. Good. Like, basic enemies were killing very quickly. Like, that, that, that damage is just not really enough, is it? Oh, dude. I keep pressing Q instead of space to use my anima solo because it's so used to it being in the space bar slot. In the Q slot, sorry. Both pretty good. No devil or angel deal to be seen. Arcade could be nice. Yes, of course. Steal one of the good items from me again. Just keeps doing it. Just keeps being rude. It's impossible for me to have nice things. I mean... Has Pentacles triggered at all? Pen pentacles did give us Barra Soap back, so we did lose the item, but we still got the Pentacles Lemmageddon Wisp version, which is kind of nice. It's like a consolation prize. Oh, I can't even kill that guy in a single ring. Come on now. That's what I mean. Our damage is kind of pathetic, and we got damage upgrades, and it just took them all off us. Because these guys are going to fire when they split. Oh my god. I don't know how I haven't been hit here. I think this is actually maybe a good idea. What happens if we use more than one? Okay, no. But still, I think that's kind of a good idea. Just because, for one, the Rotten Hearts might be useful for just a bit more damage output, but also turn them on to Burn Hearts is kind of nice. This thing is too quick for me. Oh god, I lost a Burn Heart already. Okay, it wasn't good for us. Oh, no, 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 it was because I freed up some Soul Heart room. Okay, that makes it fine. And now we've got a slew of flies to utilize in each room. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result there. I need to be using this way more often. Considering it's like such a quick charge, I'm really not using it much. Sci-Fly is helping out too. But yeah, I think I have room damage. It's just it's one of those runs where it's, we've got some interesting stuff going on, but it's like I kind of just been held back by our damage values been kind of trash. Ow. Lost that soul heart. But that, I don't know, makes the relic a little more useful at least, I guess. But you watch, it takes the relic off, off us on the next floor. Yeah, I don't actually want that burn heart. 
I want to have that spare soul heart room. Oh my god, can I stop going the wrong way, please? It's very frustrating. It's been a slow, slow burn of a run, it really has. And like I said, I'm about ready for food as well. Don't know what I'm getting yet, but I'll have to see. The idea of pizza has been floated. I like the idea. But it depends whenever this run decides to end. I'm, at the minute, I'm not doing Mega Certain. Basically, I've just, it just takes so long. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I do want to try it. I do want to give it a go. <clears throat> but it would just take us forever. So at the minute, I'm like, just, oh, damn it. There's a bloody red poop there. Just just get get what we need to get done, done. And we'll go from there. Because this floor took years to complete. Destroy the eyes first. <clears throat> And then, <clears throat> Anima Soul to deal with you. Well, it's quite slow, isn't it, though? And Anima Soul is good, but there's still a bit of downtime. I mean, sci-fi helps in the downtime, I guess. No devil deal. Right, this is kind of tricky. Okay, so... I mean, I know it's going to fucking steal it from me, but I'm just going to take this, take that. I just, I can't take any more broken hearts, really. I've got too many already. Right, we're going down, right? Down, yeah. So... You watch it take Sacred Orb from me. Guarantee. I need to stop making predictions. Because every time it happens. Oh. Oh my god. It left us with everything good. We've also got two Holy Waters too. And two Salvations apparently. But I don't think that does anything. Okay. Do you know something that we're missing as well? Speed. Our speed is so low right now. But now, I feel, I definitely feel better now. I've got Salvation to Hell. And Sacred Orb should mean that we can get some other good items here. Especially when we're dropping double items. These are, these are very annoying. Do not want to pick that up. We want Soul Heart Room. We've still got the Relic available to us, so we can utilize it. Hello there, sirs. We'll keep this with us. Could actually be really good for the herming. Another eternal heart, wow. Holy water there. Is, uh, actually, holy water for salvation is a good combo that I've not thought of before. That could prove to be very strong. Let's keep it passing through. Just hoping we're going the right way at this point. Oh my god, so much brimstone. <laughs> oh, there's a soul hat. There's a soul hat. Thank you, Relic. Interesting room. Oh, we got Brother Cement in this room. That's kind of weird. <clears throat> Do you remember when uh, Repentance first came out? And Tech X just gave Rubber Cement. <clears throat> with Rubber Cement, just gave you infinite bounces. That was wacky. <clears throat> okay. He is eternal, which makes things more complicated.
In fact, this is a really good combo. I used my card by accident there, but it's actually not a bad thing because this guy is tricky. <clears throat> Anima Soul is a very good combo with this. Oh, it only locks down one foot. I didn't think about that. Oh, God damn it! it locked down the little fly. Stop. <clears throat> God damn, this version of him spawns so many flies. Right, we did lose a bit of health there. Let's see how we go here. The Sacred Orb, please don't take it away from us. Don't take anything from us that time. Okay. Um, not great. <laughs> not great. I'll take this. I realize my health is tragic right now, so that might not be a great idea. Oh my lord. Oh my god, I'm so dead. I am so boned. Oh my god, stop getting hit. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to go through. Oh, no, no, no. I've lost, like... I've been hit, like, twice every room so far. It's because I'm trying to use Salvation. Not a good idea. Ow. Yeah, we're one hit off death. Hey, the relic comes in clutch, though. Not for long, but it tried. Also, what is our character right now? What's our body? Like, what? Look at these absolute gargantuan arms. <laughs> it's bizarre looking, but I like it. <laughs> Don't know what to expect here, but yep. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is uh, not good. I survived longer than I thought I would so far, based on those first few rooms, though. I keep getting red health. Don't know why the game keeps giving it to me, but I keep getting it. Half soul heart as well. It's nice that, to know that I've gone all of the wrong ways so far, so every room I've done has been pointless. That's always a, a nice motivator. Oh my god, they're encroaching. Temperance. No thank you. I mean, it's just we kill stuff really fast. But even with Sci-Fly. Sci-Fly can't protect us anymore as, as he used to. He's not as much as a bro as he used to be. Wrong way again. Mate, these sacred orb items are just trash. <laughs> it keeps telling me, oh, sacred orb, get better items, and it's like, hmm, well, the sponge and polydactyl don't really speak to me. I'm not really telling me that. Okay. I think we I don't know. We might be able to do the lamb with, if we make it to the lamb, we might be able to do the lamb with, um, Salvation with the, the size that it is right now, plus, uh, our Anima Solar, but I'm not making any promises. We went to the boss. Uh, what? I used Anima Solar, it just did nothing. Okay, don't spam space apparently, because that's what I did and it did not work. Oh my god, this has been stressful. Okay, this is a bit screwy now, because now there's two parts to him, so I don't get to... 
get the same level of usage. How is the body still so healthy? Ah, oh, it's because I spammed space and unlocked it, I see. Okay, surprisingly so, we actually did it. My god. There you go. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.